Hey guys, so as the title shows or says, I'm pregnant. So that's why I've basically been MIA for three months if you missed me. I'm acting like I'm so popular, but essentially, I'm gonna like tell you guys everything. So as you can see, yes, I'm pregnant. I'm not gonna draw it out. I'm having a little boy. I'm so excited. Um, I'm filming this. Monday today where I'm gonna post it. I am 15 and a half weeks, I believe. So it's past, you know, the waiting game. I really wanted to share once I was three months and got all the genetic testing and, and everything, like I said, the gender. That way I can just like hit you guys with all the information. Like I said, I don't, I think it's so annoying when people are like, make seven parts, like what's the gender or well, whatever. I mean, you do you, but personally I'm just like blah. Like just wanna say everything, so. Yes, that's why I've been so inconsistent with posting and I just have just not felt like putting anything out and then I also couldn't say like, oh, and then I mentioned I wasn't feeling well and I was like, I don't want people to think I'm sick, but essentially, long story short, which it is going to be long because I always babble, but I knew, me and my husband, we had decided last year that once I turned 30, it was gonna be like baby time so i turned 30 april 18th and literally on the first cycle i got pregnant three weeks later i was pregnant you guys and i can make a whole separate video um because i did do some extra things to i guess like i wouldn't say better my chances but but you know what i mean like i tried to be a healthier version of me i started working on myself like six months before because i knew this is something that we wanted and i just wanted to be a bit healthier once we did start to try to conceive and obviously i part of it is luck and god you know but it worked because i got pregnant right away so if you guys want i can make a separate video of like the stuff i did um to be like ready i guess um and um so anyway so essentially yeah i had my birthday party and then literally um i've always tracked my period i have like the history of like the past five years like and i'm very regular i ovulate like around the same time so long story short yeah I got, three weeks later i found out i was pregnant and it was so funny because i had bought those like six days sooner pregnancy tests and i, I took one super early and I could have sworn there was a faint line. And my husband's like, no, it's not. You're going to, like, psych yourself out and stress yourself out. And I was like, okay. And it turns out, like, I did the six days sooner or whatever before my period. And it was, like, super yes. And then all of them were, like, pregnant, pregnant, yes, plus, like, everything. And then I was like, I told you that pregnancy test was real. It was just so faint because it was so early. So we were, like, freaking out because... I'm 30 he's gonna be 32 so and we're both you know overweight and we thought you know I'm, it's probably gonna take us a little while because we are a little older and I would not that I think I'm old at all but you know what I mean like they say you're most fertile when you're like 22 and I'm 30 so we were like you know it's probably gonna take you know months and even my my doctor said on average it takes women nine months to get pregnant so we were not expecting at all to get pregnant like right away obviously we're like super happy and feel blessed and we're like so excited and it was planned so it's awesome but we were shook um so yeah basically i found out may 11th which was sweet because it was a couple days before mother's day and yeah i've been um i wouldn't say sick but i've been so tired the first couple of months were pretty rough as far as like I literally like I would only take naps on Sundays like regular me right no when I'm pregnant I literally could take a nap in the afternoon and then I could take another nap like at six o'clock and then go to sleep and sleep perfectly fine I was so exhausted so that was one of my symptoms the first one that I ever had was my boobs started hurting and they and more than hurting, they felt real heavy. So that was like the very first thing I felt was that my boobs literally felt like they weighed 10 pounds each. And then after that, I was feeling super tired. And then like a month and I started getting morning sickness, not really bad. I would maybe throw up like three times a week, but I'm definitely, I was definitely nauseous like every single day, but I don't like vomiting. <laughs> I don't think anyone does. So I would really like do breathing exercises and smell alcohol, which that helps um, with your nausea in case you guys don't know, it's a little tip. 
just put some alcohol on a pad and smell it and it helps um, the nausea, nausea go away. So basically, I've been feeling pretty bad. Not horrible, it's just, I would say even worse than like the throwing up is the, is how tired I felt. Like I literally felt like my life was getting sucked out of me. Like it was so bad. And then I was craving a ton of spicy foods and a ton of fruit. I really thought, it's weird. So my uncle does this thing where it's this like Russian equation, kind of like the Chinese calendar. And it said it would be a girl. And then the Chinese calendar said it would be a girl. And then I was like, so I thought it was a girl because solely because of that, but I didn't have like a feeling. And when I found out it was a boy, I was shocked. Um, I did the sneak peek test. I can link it down below for you guys. Um, which you can find out as early as six weeks. I waited till nine weeks to do it just in case But so I literally found out super early that it was a boy and then once we did the genetic testing the NIPT um, Then it confirmed like okay, it's a boy So yeah, we're super excited um, Hopefully the next one's a girl because I would love a little girl and a little boy. We only want two kids um, But I'm super happy and grateful that we are having a healthy little boy and so yeah, basically I've been feeling like absolute shit for the past few months and this is why because I'm literally growing a human and it's sucking the energy out of me But it's okay because I love him so much um, But yeah, that's where I've been. Hopefully I feel a lot better I've been feeling better for the past like three weeks, but this past week we went on a little like uh, Vacation and we stayed in Texas. We just like drove around the plan this year was to go to Europe um, But we said like if we get pregnant like we're obviously not gonna do that um, so we literally found out right before summer, so we were like, okay, well, we did a little, we, like, went to a pottery barn, and we picked out, like, the pottery barn kids, we picked out, like, the furniture we want, we ordered, like, the nursery chair, um, you know, just, I'm starting to build my registry and all that, which, if you guys have any, like, products that you love and you're obsessed with and you used with your kids, please link it down below, because yesterday my husband was like, oh my god, like, I don't even know, I feel like we barely have anything on there, I feel like we have a lot, but he's like, I feel like we need so much stuff, and he's, like, freaking out, he's like, who do we talk about this, because his cousins all have kids that are, like, older than 10, so he's just like, oh my god, like, I don't know, like, there's no one, like, super close in age. But anyway, so if you guys have any items that were like your must-haves, please share. I'd really appreciate it. Um, so basically, my videos are going to be a little different because I really want to do a plus-size pregnancy um, series. I feel like as soon as I found, like, found out I was pregnant, I couldn't find a ton on YouTube of plus-size pregnancy. Or at least like I feel like people think like, oh, fatties are so unhealthy and like, their pregnancy will suck and whatever and it's like no you have hope I'm a fellow fatty and I'm like I've been totally fine yeah like yeah you're a little tired but it's on the grand scheme of things like I've been totally fine my baby's super healthy I'm super healthy like I don't have any issues so just to give my fellow fats you know some hope and some love that you'll be okay if you get pregnant and you can get pregnant right away even though you're little chubs okay so I'm, pro so I'm going to do a plus size pregnancy series if you guys want to follow along and then I will also be sharing like normal you know hopefully we'll be back to my schedule what is it scheduled programming of luxury stuff I'm actually gonna film a designer haul right after this of stuff I picked up while I was out on vacation so I will continue to talk about luxury things and makeup, but I will be sprinkling some baby stuff in there. I hope you guys don't mind. If you do, then just don't click on those videos. They will be very clearly titled that it's baby related. But I just wanted to share with you guys because I have been at my A and I have been trying so hard to post weekly, but I was, I've just been like feeling exhausted, but I've been feeling a lot better. Like I said, I'm back from vacation, so my life should be back in order. But um, I hope you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. I probably should have said that in the beginning. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.